And I want to encourage somebody that has been praying for God to move, looking at the time and counting it up, talking about it chronologically and wondering why hasn't it happened and not thinking about it in the way that God has an appointment of time for something to happen. So preparation has to meet the people and what is needed for an appointed period of time. Here it is. Jesus is saying, I recognize that God is getting ready to do something. And I need for it to align with God's plan so that I am not out of place. So let me move out the way. Because if I keep on doing what I'm doing, I'm going to start rushing the process and then people will get out of way and this will take away from what God wants to do. Although I am more than able and capable of doing a thing now, I know it is better for me to hold back from that which I am capable of doing until God has opened the door for my timing to come. This is this is this is how God worked it out, that he is setting up the passion of Christ to happen at one of the largest festivals for the Jewish people. He doesn't want Jesus to go through what Jesus is getting ready to go through in obscurity with maybe a few people seeing it, but that God has created the visibility of this story to make sure that it will permeate every culture, every idea, that it will move for years and years because so many people saw it. So many people were privy to this idea that all of a sudden now, nobody can get away from it. This is Passover. Everybody is coming back to Jerusalem. Everybody is looking forward to what's going to happen. Everybody has eyes on Jesus. This is Passover. And Passover has meaning because Passover meant salvation for the children of Israel. And although they didn't understand what Jesus was in that moment, that he was connecting to a history of salvation, he was about to give salvation to all of humanity. There was a Kairos time for Jesus to do what he did. 